Hello everyone, this is Dr. Elias and today we will discuss um, sampling in quantitative researches. Um, as we know, many junior researchers and student researchers often face problems in understanding uh, the concept of sampling, especially in quantitative survey researches where a variety of sampling uh, techniques could be used. So this uh, brief presentation is aimed at clarifying some of the uh, concepts related to sampling in quantitative survey researches. So let's begin first with a general definition of sample in quantitative survey researches. A sample in simple terms is a representative subset of the population of a research study. Um, a population is the entire group of people or objects or events to which conclusions could be generalized based on findings from the sample. As we know that in most quantitative survey researches, the aim of conducting quantitative survey researches, survey researches is actually generalization of the findings and the conclusions. And so, because the whole population generally, including the whole population um, in the survey is difficult. And therefore, the concept of sampling is there, which is actually representative of the population in order to generalize findings based on findings and our results from the sample. So here is a simple example of a population, uh, all 200 teachers uh, teaching in a university could be taken as a simple example of a population. And a sample of, let's say, 50 teachers selected from among the 200 teachers might be an example uh, of this uh, particular um, sample from a population. The proportion of sample uh, will actually vary from study to study, keeping in view a number of um, factors such as the aims and objectives of the particular researches, the accessibility of the population, and the time and resources available. So now we will move to um, uh, some of these uh, the, the sampling techniques in quantitative researches, but generally in quantitative survey researches, probability sampling is used. And, and so this is a sample, and this is a sampling technique in which every individual member, every member of the group or the population actually has an equal chance of being included in the sample. And generally it is done in quantitative survey studies and the aim basically is when the representation and statistical generalization is the aim of your research there, generally, probability sampling techniques are used. Going into the specific of the, some of the main types of um, probability, probability sampling uh, include simple random sampling, systematic sampling, stratified sampling, and cluster sampling. And so we will now discuss each of these one by one with some simple definition and some simple examples of these different types of sampling techniques used in survey researches. So the first one, simple random sampling, is actually sampling, uh, it's a sampling process where each member of the population has an equal and independent chance of being selected in the sample. And Mainly, it is chance-based selection. And so there is no purpose actually uh, um, involved in the selection of a particular member or element of the population in the sample. It's just purely chance-based. And so we can give an example of this as selection of, let's say, a sample of 100 students from a school where the total number of students is 1,000 and every student is assigned a number from one to 
1000 and then this is generally done done randomly which actually means that it is done through pair, through uh, processes such as draw or using uh, uh, random number generators and so here every member of the population has an equal chance of being included in the sample and this will be a simple example of a simple random sampling uh, technique. The second type of sampling in the uh, in this uh, uh, probability sampling technique is basically systematic sampling and in this one um, in systematic sampling the sampling units which might be people or things or other units are selected at regular interval from a starting point so there is a starting point and from there there is a there is a particular interval is selected and so every for example every tenth member of the population or every fifth me uh, uh, member of the population or any number that the researcher uh, would like to assign so this is generally done in the case of large populations um, and every member of the population therefore does not have an equal chance of being selected so here there there might be an issue of representation but because we need to deal with the bigger populations um, this is one of the ways in which selection from of sample from bigger uh, larger population is possible and so here is an example of this um, selection of a sample of 100 students from a school where the total number of students is 1000 for example one can begin at student number 10 and select every 10th student afterwards to get a total of 100 students so in this sample um, we need to to take care that while we are using this technique uh, the population where they, they, there are chances of patterns or repetitions after intervals and so that needs to be taken into consideration uh, we will get into some more details related to these issues that might happen while we are using systematic sampling in some future presentation but at this very stage uh, the very simple definition of it is that um, in this particular sampling technique the units of sample are selected at regular intervals and every member of the population generally uh, does not have an equal chance of being selected um, such as uh, is the case in the simple random, random sampling process. Now we move to the next one which is the stratified sampling technique well in this type of sampling uh, the population is divided into subgroups or subpopulations or you and or also called stratas on the basis of some characteristics um, certain distinctive characteristics um, or qualities such as on the basis of gender such as age or job or interest um, so we can give an example of this uh, this type of uh, sampling so the total population let's say is 1000 consisting of 600 male and 400 female teachers so if the sample is to be 100 in total from both strata the stratas are male and female um, here the basis of stratification is actually gender the proportionate number of males and females in the sample may be 60 and 40 and so so there are stratas and then those stratas are proportionally represented by um, samples sample from each strata could be selected using random or systematic um, 
sampling technique. So once the strata are identified, uh, those then the, the samples from each of those strata could be um, could be selected using either random sampling or systematic sampling, keeping in view the practical uh, the practical issues and the practical realities while we are uh, conducting a particular study. And so now we move on to the last one um, in this list of uh, quantitative um, survey sampling techniques and that is cluster sampling. So in this particular sampling population is divided into subgroups or clusters with each subgroup consisting of individuals or elements that have characteristics similar to the whole sample. So in this one, although we, we categorize uh, like we categorize in stratified sampling, but here the categories or, or the groups, the subgroups that we are actually uh, dividing the whole population into um, is actually representative um, or is very similar to the characteristics of the of the whole population. So a whole subgroup is generally or usually selected as a sample. However, in case of very large subgroups or clusters, there may be selection of individual units from each cluster again. Um, and so here is an example to clarify this cluster sampling. So let's say a province has six districts where the researcher wants to conduct a survey of secondary school principals related to some uh, research question or some research objectives. So the researcher may not be able to have access to all six districts. So what happens is that randomly select three districts or clusters as samples. And each cluster as I, I identified in the very beginning is that each cluster is actually will consist actually will consist of individuals um, or elements that have characteristics similar to the whole sample.